Welcome to Lean Kill, welcome to your weekly video. Welcome to Lee & Co. and we are culminating our month of May and with our month of May we've been discussing the perfect storm for economic collapse. Well, for this last video we want to put on what would happen if the unemployment rate keeps going up, the credit crisis happens and the house mortgage collapses because of a crisis. Well, eventually what would hit is the stock market will eventually plummet. Yes, just like it happened in 2008, just like it happened in the Great Depression, and just like we've lived in many different uh, depressions, recessions, uh, the stock market collapsed. And this is a consequence of many catalysts like we've discussed throughout the, these couple of weeks, but this is very important because in this specific aspect, the stock market would not only be affected by direct circumstances but by indirect circumstances and let me explain. The start of this stock market crisis is because of an indirect circumstances. It's by something that didn't affect it directly, it did not have to do directly with the stock market and it's something that the stock market didn't have control over. And what is this? the global health crisis that we're living today. This does not have to do anything financially or economically with the stock market and yet it affected it in a way that not just, stock, not just the stock market in the United States is affected but global economies are affected by this. And this is a factor that is relevant to this specific economic crisis that in other depressions or in other recessions did not come into factor but did because it did not exist. So this is very important when we come to discuss the importance or the relevancy of impact that it would have on the stock market thanks to all the other things. So keeping this in mind, let's go to the first catalyst for the stock market crash. Well, unemployment. It was the first video that we discussed. Well, unemployment, if you've been following weekly or monthly, has been going up and it is expected to keep going up if uh, the economy does not reopen, if factories just not, don't reopen, small businesses are already uh, going bankrupt and, small, and some businesses are not even going to be able to open back again. They're just going to be closed indefinitely. Well, this is a factor very important in the stock market because the money that people had invested in the stock market, they are going to need to get it out. They are going to need to sell the stocks because they need that liquidity. They need that cash to survive. The second catalyst is the credit crisis. And why is this very important? Because people are maximizing their credit cards and, be, and they're using money that they don't have with a limited amount of credit and this is affecting the stock market because people don't have money to keep investing. The third catalyst, the house mortgage crash. When people don't have the money to pay their own bills, to pay their own houses, to keep a safe home, a safe roof under their head, they will not invest in the stock market. They will take the money out of the stock market to put it in places of necessity, of utilities that they need to live on their day to day. But not only this house market cra uh, crash will affect the stock market, but they can also affect financial institutions that are in the stock market or they fund the stock market and companies in there that will have the stock market collapse. So if you notice, there are a couple of catalysts that are going to happen for the stock market to crash. And keep in mind, these are just external things. Let's talk about directly with the stock market. Well, the stock market is a compound of different companies that are divided into the SP 500 and the Dow and so on and so forth. Well, these companies are affected directly from what is happening in the other catalysts. Because if companies don't start up again, if companies are devalued, if companies uh, uh, get rid of employees, they get rid of services, their price in the stock market will drop significantly and this will cause those indexes to plummet down. And if you've noticed, throughout these couple of years, there have been brokerage accounts 
that are automatic and what does this mean? Some brokerage accounts are set up that if you lose a certain amount in your brokerage account, they are automated to sell those stocks so you can keep that cash. Well, if the stock market crashes significantly combined with this factor of automation, the stock market can keep going down because people will be selling stocks and people will have automatic, automatic selling points for their stock, which could cause a downgrade completely, a downfall to that stock market. And what does this mean for the stock market? Pensions fund will be affected, retirement accounts will be affected, 401ks will be affected. Even companies can go bankrupt because of this effect. So this is the last factor for the perfect storm when it comes to the economic crisis because if you get rid of the present of people, if you get rid of the future of people with their financial aspects, this means that people are stuck in this negative circle of uncertainty, of recession, of financial insecurity that we have not seen in years or maybe we have never seen before. And this is a very uh, scary and risky time that we're living and we are dependent on people that we have put our trust on to make the right decisions as well as our individual decisions are affected. Keep in mind that this is just a scenario if different things happen at the same time that could lead to this perfect soar for economic collapse. We're not saying by any way that this is the things that are going to happen, but this is something that you should keep in mind and stay in your mind so you can prepare or you can just uh, see a different perspective on the financial specter that we're living right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this month of perfect storm for our economic collapse. We've just enjoyed it just as well as you did. Visit our YouTube channel for more information about this topic and other topics, but very important, stay safe, stay healthy, and always remember to have that king mentality.